Hiya pals, Ollie here, and we are at Mr. Tipsy's Roaring 1920 Speakeasy. And today we are gonna make for you the Negroni. Negroni's got a long reputation, goes back to the Prohibition times. It's a very, very simple drink, and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's like your bitter friend. It's got a lot of bitterness to it. You know that bitter friend when you meet him, you go, ah, I don't know about that guy. And then after a while, you start going, I kind of like the guy, he's growing on me, but why does he gotta be bitter all the time? And then eventually you just kind of get used to it. So that's the crony, it's a little bitter. It's also got a little sweetness to it. And of course it's made from gin, it's quite delightful. So we're gonna use three ingredients, it's equal parts. So whether you're doing ounces, whether you're doing mills, it's all equal parts. So we're gonna use our Whitley Nil Gin right here. We also have Campari, which is like an orange liqueur, and we have a sweet vermouth. Sweet vermouth, it's made from the, like the leftover bits of, of wine. Uh, it's it basically, they put in the leaves and the bark of the trees. It's, it's like the kitchen sink. They just dump it all in there. They fortify it, they distill it. And this is where you get your sweet vermouth. Uh, now it's got a really nice rich color. So it's gonna be a beautiful looking drink. First is first, we are going to put some ice into our glass right here so we can stir this. We don't need a ton of ice, just a little bit to get going. We're gonna set this aside because we're gonna need more ice because this is served on a rocks, in the rocks glass, on the rocks. In a rocks glass, on the rocks. Boy, say that three times fast, would you? Okay, so here we go. We're gonna take equal parts. We're gonna use uh, 30 mil here. Put our gin in. Next up, we'll put in some of that uh, delightful Campari. Look at that beautiful color that goes in there. It's got a nice little red hue to it. And of course, our sweet vermouth. Nice and easy, don't have to see? I'm just using the same exact measuring device. You can make this, the nice thing is, after you've had a few drinks, you can keep making them because you don't really have to do any thinking. You just kind of keep pouring it in there. All right, now, we like ours to have a nice little, uh, little sweetness to a little citrus, so we're just gonna take this uh, orange slice, we're gonna put that right in there. Now we're gonna mix the entire thing up. Now, when you mix this, you wanna make sure, what you're doing is you're just kind of moving the ice around a bit. You wanna mix it probably 25, 30 rotations. You don't wanna muddle the orange, you don't wanna mash it. You're just gonna let those, uh, that kind of orange in the pulp, it's gonna kinda of naturally come out. Getting ready to pour, we're gonna take a little bit more of our ice cubes here. We're gonna put it into our rocks glass. All right, and then all we gotta do is strain. So we take our strainer, put it into our mixing glass, and we just let it pour out. Look how beautiful, the nice little orange, got some redness to it. Beautiful, beautiful. And now because we want to kind of have a nice little garnish and just a little extra of that, that uh, citrus, we're going to take a little, this is just the rind of the orange. So you don't, I've already kind of pre-cut this, but uh, you kind of get really close to the edge here. You can see the white. It's not too much of that white. You're going to mix, kind of work it out a little bit. The oils start to kind of work their way out. And then you just kind of get a nice little, you kind of just take it right here and you're just going to get a little squeeze. Look at that. And then you kind of do the edges. That way, when you take those sips, you're gonna get just a little bit of that orange, delightful little orangeness. And then we're going to uh, put a little garnish here. We've got a little curly cues here. Take those right there and just set it right in. And look how beautiful this drink is. It's got a gorgeous color to it. It's got a wonderful little garnish. It's simple, but it looks like it's really, really complicated. It's not complicated to make, but I tell you the complexity of the flavors, you open up in your mouth, you get that bitterness, that sweetness, and of course that gin flavor. Let's see, let's see how it turned out, huh? Ooh, oh yeah. There's a lot going on in there, folks. There's a lot, there's a party happening in my mouth and I've got gin and Campari and bitterness, it's all invited. So if, if you like a little bitterness in your drink, if you like a little sweetness, this is the drink for you. It's not, it's, it's not overly sweet, but it's got that bitterness really comes out. It's gonna work in the back of the mouth. Delightful, let it just dance. It's just dancing on the palate there, friends. Cheers, enjoy.